Uh, John Durth here. I'm the director of jazz performance at the University of Virginia. Very uh, pleased to be here making this backyard video for anybody who cares to see it. Um, that was a snippet of Billie Holiday's God Bless the Child, as interpreted by Sonny Rollins, a great uh, jazz artist. Both, both of them were. Jazz is, as I like to say, um, a music that gives itself back to the musicians. Jazz is owned by the musicians and it is performed in a human and very authentic way by them. One of the most essentially human activities is improvisation and that's at the heart of jazz, which makes it so universal. Everything we do basically, and certainly in conversation and in our daily lives is to a large extent, improvise from a repertoire of unconscious competence in various language, skills, uh, social skills, psychological insights and awarenesses, etc., etc., etc. I play that song because uh, it's a it's a incredibly hard time in this world, and of course we want to uplift each other and help each other, and music does that. Where I cut off in that song, the lyrics then go. Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless the child who's got his own. Here I sit in my backyard making a video. I want to shout out to UVA for their dignified response to the coronavirus pandemic. They have taken care of their contract workers. Everybody's doing what they can. I'm in my backyard making a video for y'all uh, while my, hoping my phone doesn't die. Um, I had a discovery recently, and I hope this isn't too technical, but I'd love to share it with you. It's about improvisation. It's about practicing improvisation. One of the things we musicians really most hate to practice probably in some ways is scales, and we all have to do it. And if you're a little kid practicing your scales and your mother says, come on, 12 minutes we need, it seems like an eternity. My brother was a poet. He said, like a child pushing cold peas around his plate. Beautiful. Anyway, I made this discovery for myself recently called scale rhythms. Add a rhythm to a scale. Scales are pretty prosaic. This is a scale. We're familiar with that scale from Miles Davis used it all the time. small melodies within that scale, but to practice the scale and practice all those scales in a million keys, a lot of work. What if you put a rhythm to the scale? It would force you to hear all these melodic components that exist within the scale. And I hope this isn't too technical, but I think any person could really understand the beauty of this concept. If I added the rhythm of do ba do ba do 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 to the scale that I just played and keep following it up and down the scale, I get all kinds of beautiful little melodic resolutions. One, two, three. to hear in there and to um, experience. The music can teach itself to you. Anyway, that's a little music lesson on the scales. Interestingly, people often say music is math. I say music is arithmetic. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do it. If you did seven uh, eighth notes, you'd never go anywhere in the scale. get that melody over but if I, over and over but if i add one note above the octave listen to how terrifically this plays out melodically i messed it up anyway i love this stuff because it takes any player to places that they can't play that they can't go yet 
and that's our quest in the arts. That's our quest in life. Let's go somewhere we haven't gone yet. All right, I think I'll close off now, and I'm really gonna try something weird here, you guys. I am stealing myself to make a vocal debut. You know, I teach students, and the lessons of jazz for me have to do with um, owning the music, being yourself, trying to be comfortable with who you are and who you aren't. <laughs> As Miles Davis said, it sometimes takes a person a long time to figure out how to play like themselves. It's an amazing lesson, an amazing statement, as so often the case, as is so often the case with Miles Davis. So I'm gonna share my didactic song to my students at UVA who play wonderful jazz music, an admonition to keep it simple. One, a two, a one, two. <laughs> Boys, when you start to swing, just do the natural thing. Don't make your brain the king. Keep it simple. Boys, when you play some jazz, leave off the razzmatazz. Learn the lesson hypnos has. To keep it simple, you know. Rhythm is supreme. Put it where you want it. You know what we mean. <laughs> no, baby, no, no, no. Why do you make it so complicated? Don't you know? To keep it simple. and keep it happening for everybody, okay? The heart, joy and sorrow, that's what this life is. Thank you.